I want to start off by saying thank you to those of you who have been bearing with me for the past week or so. I've been doing videos that have been heavily focused on deals because it's Black Friday slash Cyber Monday week now, and there's lots of deals that are out there. However, I know not everyone is hunting for deals. Not everyone is located in the US where you can take advantage of all the deals I've been sharing. So just to confirm, this is my last deals video for this cycle. And to make things a little bit more interesting for my Cyber Monday entry, I'm going to start off by going over the top 10 items that have been purchased on Amazon using my affiliate codes over the past week. Excellent! Today's video is brought to you by the new FX series of cases and CPU coolers from Be Quiet. Combining addressable RGB lighting with legendary build quality, top tier performance, and near silent operation. The Pure Base 500 FX can fit up to a 360mm all-in-one or tall air coolers while keeping things chilly thanks to airflow optimized top and front panels. The Pure Loop 2 FX liquid cooler comes in three sizes and supports all modern mainstream CPUs. And the Pure Rock 2 FX air cooler can handle up to 150 watts TDP with style and ease. Be Quiet FX series products are suitable for any build in need of a functional and tasteful RGB upgrade, so click the sponsor link in the video description for more. I would also like to say a big thank you to those of you who have picked up some merch on my store at paulshardware.net. I do have a holiday 2022 discount going on right now, 10% off orders over 50 bucks, 20% off orders over $100. So if you'd like a hoodie, a pint glass, a beer set, or of course, one of my new water bottles, go ahead and pick yourself up something nice. Thanks to those of you who have made purchases on my store just recently. And the link to that is in the video description, along with the links to a lot of the parts that I'm talking about today and a link to this spreadsheet, my deals spreadsheet which I have been updating over the past week or so, which has categorized CPUs, graphics cards, and lots of other components, coolers, memories, and everything. I've been updating this every one to 12 hours or so. I have put strike throughs for some deals that have gone away. And there's some notes over on the right side with tips for some of the deals, like some products are on sale right now, but for instance, uh, the 5600 over on Newegg is 118 bucks, but it doesn't ship out until January. I wanna keep that in mind if you're buying someone a Christmas present. But one of the things I find most interesting when I make a big sales push like I've been doing in the past week or so is what people are actually buying. And Amazon actually reports back to me what products have been purchased with my affiliate code. So I thought I'd give you guys the top 10 items for the past week or so that have been ordered. Starting with number 10, which is the CPU that I've been recommending for my budget AM4 build ever since I did that builds video last week, the Ryzen 5 5600. Now do note that it's listing for 160 bucks right now. So a tip for anyone who is shopping, you should always reality check, especially on Amazon. Amazon. I don't know why it defaults to this $160 version. Go over here on the right, see new and used, starting at $118, and you can buy it here for $118. Just do note that delivery date, Wednesday, January 11th, probably fastest delivery January 4th to 6th. So yes, a great deal on this processor for $118, bucks, but you must have a little bit of patience. Moving on to number nine, we have a case, and uh, actually quite a few clicks on the case links that I put in that uh, spreadsheet. The Corsair 4000D Airflow, very well-reviewed case, very nice looking case, very solid all-around case, and especially when it's marked down by 15 bucks or so. At $90, it's easy to recommend the Corsair 4000D Airflow, and yes, uh, the white version is also on sale for the same price. Item number eight is this power supply, the Corsair CXM series, 650 watt, and this is another item that I recommended in that builds part list, and this was $55. However, it's not available anymore, and uh, perhaps this is the effect of me talking about things that are on sale for good prices with good deals, is that they sometimes, maybe even often, sell out. Not to worry though, if you check the spreadsheet, I have been populating that with some more power supplies, because you kind of need a power supply to build an entire system, and there have been some continuing good deals on them. Item number seven is the Intel Core i5-13600K, 13th gen CPU, and this one was selling for 300 bucks. It's back up to $320. I'm not sure if people have been buying it for 300 or 320. It does does not look like it's available for less than 320 right now, so kind of sad that the price has bounced back up a little bit. But for anyone who has taken the dive on a new Intel LJ1700 platform build with the 13600K, I think you're going to be very happy. Item number six is a motherboard, and this is uh, one of the motherboards I recommended for my more budget 660 to 700 ish dollar uh, AM4 build. This is the MSI B550-A Pro, and another problem that maybe I have caused or at least contributed to. This was selling for 140 bucks. It's now up to 180 dollars. I, that's not as good of a deal for 180 bucks. I would look at uh, X570 motherboards for like 180 plus dollars. Or again, check the right side because 
For some reason, Amazon doesn't always like to show you the best price. It's available new here uh, for as cheap as $130 from one of the marketplace sellers. <sighs> Although their feedback isn't exactly that great, but you can buy it directly from Amazon for $140 and it will still arrive December 4th to 8th. The fifth most popular item ordered at Amazon is this uh, SSD, the Sabrent one terabyte, uh, available for 80 bucks. And this is almost the best price on like a one terabyte solid NVMe SSD. You can get them for around uh, 70 bucks or even some have dipped a little bit below that. But the selling point here is that it's a Gen 4 SSD that actually has at least read speeds in the five gigabytes per second range. So it is a very well-reviewed drive that is significantly marked down. I didn't even check on the two terabyte version. Two terabyte version, 200 bucks, not as good of a deal. Item number four is the Ryzen 5 5600X. So even though I told a lot of people, get the 5600, it's cheaper, it's a little bit better bang for your buck. The 5600X is a faster CPU out of the gate. You might even be able to overclock it a little bit better than the 5600. So a lot of people seemed to have leaned in that direction. This was selling for 160 bucks and uh, it's unfortunately sold out on Amazon once again. I don't even see any like alternative places to buy listed. And yeah, Newegg is also sold out. They still have it listed for 160, but uh, right now only third-party marketplace sellers have it. So that's that's a little sad. And now we're down to the top three. Most popular items bought on Amazon with my affiliate code in the past week. This is the Gigabyte V550 Gaming X V2. So this is a slightly less expensive uh, motherboard that I recommended for that AM4 build yet again. And yet again, the price has been jacked up way, way, way too much. Let's check this side panel over here, where you can see it being sold for the price it should have been sold at, which is $120 available through Amazon, but again, it's been back ordered, so it won't arrive until January 9th. I guess if you're gonna get like your 5600 delivered very late and your motherboard delivered very late, you can still take advantage of the low prices on that AM4 build. However, again, you're just gonna have to wait till January to build the system. And item number two on my list is this uh, Corsair power supply. Again, the uh, 750 watt version, the same as the 650 watt, except a little bit more wattage. And again, it is sold out and not available anymore, so I'm sorry about that. But I do have some cooler master deals on power supplies uh, with roughly the same wattage and roughly the same prices. Actually, I think even a $60 version, I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. So again, check that spreadsheet for power supply deals. But the number one item, the most popular thing that people have bought with my affiliate code is this Kingston. Uh, NV2 SSD. And to be fair, there's actually a one terabyte and two terabyte version that took place number one and number two on that list. But with the one terabyte being $70 and the two terabyte being $130, both of these are just great bang for the buck NVMe SSDs. And I know, I know guys, this isn't the fastest NVMe SSD that's out there. There are certainly faster ones, but this one has solid read and write speeds. And again, you just can't beat that price per gigabyte. So that is my top 10 items that you guys have purchased. Who knows if that list will change at all in the next day or two as these Cyber Monday deals start to percolate out a little bit. But speaking of Cyber Monday deals, let's finish out this video by highlighting a few that I have found so far. And again, I'll be updating this list so there might be more added that I'll try to highlight or bold or whatever on that list as I update it. So I was trying to gauge the interest in different categories by how many clicks each different uh, item got. And I found that monitors have been pretty popular in terms of uh, items that people are clicking on. And that's actually good because there are quite a few good monitor deals out right now. Sort of a contrast to the lack of good deals on NVIDIA graphics cards, which is kind of a shame. But this LG Ultra Gear uh, 27GL850-B has been pretty popular. This one's going for uh, $280. No, I'm sorry, it's going for $270, but again, it has that delayed shipping and won't arrive till January. You can get it in early December, but you're gonna have to pay about 20 bucks more at this point. But I'm a big fan of LG's Ultra Gear series of monitors, and this one has a nice feature set. It's 27 inch, it's a one millisecond IPS panel, HDR10 support, NVIDIA G-Sync support, and 144 hertz. And of course, that QHD resolu resolution 2560 by 1440, which is a solid, good resolution that's not quite as difficult as 4K uh, to get a good frame rate out of with a mid-range graphics card. We also have the Samsung 32-inch Odyssey G5, G55A for $270. This is also a 1440 monitor, but it's a bit bigger at 32 inches with 165 hertz refresh rate. So I'd say this one is a slightly better deal than that LG right now, especially since the Cyber Monday deal is still going strong and you can actually get it shipped to you by the beginning of December. Here's another LG, an ultra-wide this time, the 34-inch 3440 by 1440 panel. It's also FreeSync compatible, which will work with the uh, both NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards, uh, 160 hertz refresh rate on this one. And it is a VA panel, uh, which is only gonna cost you $330. I also noticed 
noticed a fair amount of interest in cases. So I'm gonna be uh, checking out some more cases and populating the list with some more of those. The NZXT H510 Elite was down to $100. And in fact, uh, it's still $100 if you go for the white version. I noted the black version was down to 95, but do note that that's used. I wouldn't recommend buying a used case if you have the option to buy a new one for just five bucks more. But this one usually goes for $160 and it is the H510 Elite, which uh, includes an extra RGB controller and some very nice fans. Another really popular case in the past year has been the Height Y60, which usually sells for 200 bucks. It's 20% off, down $40 to $160. And uh, yes, that accounts for, I think, all of the colors. Or I should say at least the black and the white. While supplies last, it looks like the red uh, is up to 226. So yeah, you gotta pay a premium for the red. Incidentally, I have a build coming up in the red version of the Y60. Why red? Take a guess. And thankfully the graphics cards deals are continuing on as well. They aren't just drying up. So if you're looking for a mid-range GPU, you can get some crazy deals right now on AMD Radeon graphics cards. Unfortunately, if you really set on an Nvidia graphics card, not as many deals in that area, which is unfortunate. I do have a, a smattering of them listed in the uh, dock, but a Radeon RX 6650 for $250 straight up without a rebate or, or promo code or anything like that is pretty nice. Here's one more RX 6650. 650 XT, which is down to like $270. And then you do note that you have these like options right now, some some promotions that are going, some promotions that are going on uh, for different payment methods like Affirm or whatever the heck this other one is. And you can get 15% off a hundred bucks. Now you have to sign up for like a new payment method and that might be something that you don't want to do. But if you're really trying to scrape as many dollars off of the uh, price out the door, you can take advantage of those right now too. Rounding things out, a couple more popular deals uh, from the list that are still available. The Asus Prime B660 Plus is a DDR4 motherboard, so if you wanna build an LGA 1700 build on the cheap, for $140, this is a pretty good deal and would be a good pairing with uh, a 12th gen CPU that there are some good deals on right now too. And then I did add some peripherals in there, which I will also be updating. Uh, this one has been a popular one for $60, the NZXT Mini TKL RGB backlit uh, with, I believe it's Gatoron red switches. Oh, and I did mention maybe some even even better deals on SSDs and the Crucial P3 is absolutely on fire sale right now. Uh, for the one terabyte version, a better deal than that Kingston drive at $63. Two terabyte version is a few bucks more at $140, but do note this is a better drive than that Kingston drive in terms of read and write speeds. Even, even the four terabyte P3 is down to $260. This is the closest I've been to being like, I might need to buy a four terabyte NVMe SSD because they're very convenient to have, especially for like a games drive that you can just have lots of space on and it's really fast. I don't know, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Let me know if you guys buy that. And then I mentioned power supply deals. Uh, here's a Cooler Master Master Watt, 750 watt uh, for $60. It's 80 plus bronze rated, it's partially modular. Uh, I'd say this is probably your best bang for the buck deal for a power supply and even one that can handle a nicer graphics card like up to an RTX 3080. But again, guys, click the link to my Google spreadsheet down in the description. I'll be updating it. I'll put a little uh, note at the top when I update and what time and maybe some suggestions for the things I actually updated. Thank you guys so much for checking that out, for clicking the links, for helping support my channel by buying stuff on my store at paulshardware.net and of course participating in uh, these little deals videos that I put up from time to time. If you guys got any great deals, I'd love to hear about those in the comment section down below. You can also hit me up on Twitter at paulhardware. And of course, if you'd like to hit the thumbs up button on your way out, if you enjoyed this video or subscribe to my channel for more content coming at you real soon, I have some really, really cool builds coming up in the next couple weeks, so I'm excited for those. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.